Hey, what's up everyone? And thank you guys for tuning in to today's episode. So as you can see by the title, got some stuff that we're going to be doing on the Hellcat. So if you didn't see already, we did an unboxing video on the Four Star D5 beadlocks. We are actually doing this in preparation to install uh, those wheels, the tires. We got some TPMS sensors and stuff like that coming for the Hellcat. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys what you do have to put on the vehicle in order to run the 17 inch wheels. So we have some B Woody shortened sway bar end links. So they're actually thicker in diameter, so they're a lot stronger, uh, but they are shortened. They have some really nice energy suspension bushings on here, and we opted for the ones with the Zerk fitting. So they don't come with the Zerk fittings installed, so you just got to put them on with the 8mm wrench. And we're going to go ahead and uh, follow the instructions by B. Woody to install them. So we're just getting ready to jack the Hellcat up. we got the wheels chalked, and then we're going off to factory uh, little puck points. So you, you can do this at your home. You don't need a two-post lift. We do everything here in the garage so we're gonna go ahead and jack this thing up take the wheels off look at everything and then we're gonna start to uh, remove the end links and do everything correctly so go ahead and stay tuned throughout the video and you'll see how these go on if you're looking to run 17 inch wheels on a charger hellcat all right so we got the wheels taken off and the sway bar end links are taken off so i'm gonna go ahead and go over here and show you guys on this side with a little bit better lighting and let my dad take over and kind of walk you guys through what we're doing and the whole reason of swapping these out to the shorter end links so guys, basically the reason we're swapping out the end links is this is the factory end link. Okay, it's longer. This is the B. Woody replacement. It's shorter by about an inch, inch and a half center to center. It's also larger in diameter in the middle, so they're stronger. They have grease circ fittings at either end so that you can grease them. The most important thing to note is you're gonna need a 16 and a 15 millimeter wrench to take these off. At the bottom, the bolt goes in from the rear end side of the car towards the brake caliper and the rotor. At the top, the bolt goes towards the shock. The most important part of this whole entire job is to take this anti seize. You're going to squeeze it liberally all over this bushing. Both sides. Make sure you cover it very, very well. This is going to keep the rubber from binding the first time that that sway bar starts going to work. Set that back down. What we're doing when you take <clears throat> when you take the factory wheel off, you're going to be going to either a 17 or a 15 inch wheel conversion so you can run your drag pack. We chose the 17. I didn't want to do the brake conversion on it. <clears throat> What we're doing is repositioning the sway bar down. That way when the wheel is on here, the wheel does not hit this. That's the whole reason for putting the B. Woody sway bar end links on. They're shorter, they're beefier. We're gonna get rid of these smaller factory end links. They're pretty cheesy. Uh, the rubber bushing is already cracked. This is a 2019 uh, Dodge Charger Hellcat and the bushing in each side is already cracked. They could have done a better job, especially when you pay 75, 80 grand by putting grease circ fittings at the end. B. Woody did a nice job with a nice steel insert, energy suspension bushings, and then allowing you to grease each end of the link. I'm going to slide underneath the car and I'll show you guys how to install it. Okay guys, <clears throat> all I did was smear the anti-seize over the sides of the bushing, making sure that it was pretty thick on either side, top and bottom. I'm going to grab it up here from the top. I'm going to slide this down. <clears throat> Keep in mind, like I just said, the bolt goes in. The bolt head is facing the differential. The bolt head goes in towards the brake rotor. I'm going to go up here to the top. You want to leave a little bit of slack down here. Oops, sorry about that. You want to leave a little bit of slack down here. So that way you can slide this top bolt in. I'm going to go ahead and push this back together down here. I'm going to push this bolt out just a little bit. I'm going to raise this sway bar up so we know where we're at, so we're center. We're locked in top and bottom. Go ahead and install your nut. I'm 
I am not using Loctite on this. The factory ones were not Loctited. I'm not Loctiting them. They have a torque specification of 45 foot-pounds. We will torque them back to that. You're probably going to ask how we're going to do that. How are you going to get a torque wrench in here? I can get it on the bottom. I might not be able to get it on the top. So now that that new end link is on, that's exactly what it looks like. <clears throat> and basically we will torque the top bolt, the bottom bolt. We will go to the other side. We'll do the same thing over there on the other side. And then what we'll do is we'll snug these bolts down and then I'll snug them down over there. We'll make sure that there's clearance everywhere and then I'll torque them down. <clears throat> and then I'll go ahead and put the wheels and tires back on the car, torque the lug nuts down and let the car back down. So here we are, we got both of the B Woody end links installed on both sides of the car. In the video earlier I mentioned that they needed to be torqued down to 45 foot-pounds, top bolt, bottom bolt. We were able to get our torque wrench in there and torque both of those to 45 foot-pounds, both sides. I'm going to go ahead and put the wheels back on. I'm going to install the lug nuts, tighten them up. I'm going to drop the car back down. We'll torque the wheels to the torque specification. Then I will crawl underneath the back side of the car and I will grease it. Uh, with the load on the car.
All right, everyone. So that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed the content. Hopefully this uh, is very helpful for you guys. We have a bunch of content coming on the Hellcat and my CTSV. We're going to get a bunch of cool comparison videos with on the Draggy with the drag pack setups because I do have one for my CTSV as well. Now, if you want to see all the different projects and videos that we do on these cars and our customers' cars, make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring that notifications bell so that way you guys can stay up to date on when we post a new video. We have a bunch of awesome content uh, coming out for you guys so with that i hope you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you guys on the next episode